Hey Bri, I hope you're all well today. So we'll be looking at what blessings are coming towards you for the rest of the year, 2022. Only sign, Libra, by the way, to get Leo. And you're the 12th sign I'm filming. So this is pretty clear to me. I mean, we will shuffle and we'll get tarot, but confidence, confidence, confidence. We have Leo the lover, Gemini the butterfly, Taurus the bombshell. So turning heads wherever you go. It's very bold, beautiful energy that you will be embodying so if you do struggle with it okay seven of cups you having options a lot of opportunities to socialize mingle with people like-minded people right with gemini some of you could be dealing with these signs as well right or there may be some placements in your chart I'm not surprised with Seven of Cups. You're very confident. You have leadership skills, great communication. So opportunities when it comes to your love life, opportunities to advance up the ladder, career opportunities. I see that Taurus is our second house, but Taurus is, you know, assets, what we own, but it's also self-love. It also rules compliments, right? So you could be someone who's, look at you, Empress, Man, this is very charismatic, Libra, extremely charismatic. People will be flocking towards you. Everyone wants a piece of you. That is your blessing. We have, yeah, I was talking about Taurus. It can be compliments from admirers. Some of these admirers may be afar. You may not even know them. And some of you, if you're active on social media with Gemini, I see you getting a lot of attention. It's a performer. Some of you may be singers, artists, and this is very a positive omen if you are doing something artistic. We have Chariot. I see travel here for you, uh, Libra, but not necessarily seeing long distance. I see short distance travel for you. So I was seeing you socializing. The nightlife is bang on if that is something you're into, but getting together with Energies that are familiar to you, right? Whether literally or they is past life. I'm seeing comfort security here, but it can also feel like meeting someone and feeling like you've known them your whole life. That is coming through here. It's nostalgia here. Some of you may be reconnecting with a maternal figure or chariot, but just with siblings, Gemini rules, siblings, um, traveling back. I was getting this for one, so I think it was Gemini. Yeah, traveling back home are just very nostalgic I'm going down memory lane yeah very emotional queen of cups wanting to come through it's a mother some of you may be um getting together with your mother literally what blessings are coming towards libra for the rest of 2022 some of you if you have children this is a blessing when it comes to your children your relationship with your children the world yeah this is online uh libra i'm not sure what you're doing some of you may be online dating or you're very active on social media some public platform you're displaying your work and you're being seen right world is also a completion it's graduation some of you could be graduating right and there's a celebration of your achievement here you've come a long way seven of pentacles What blessings are coming towards Libra the rest of 2022? Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles for blessings can definitely be saving money, right? Accumulating more, paired next to Saturn, which is the 10th house, our career, our reputation, our status. So there's forward movement when it comes to finances, your career, but savings, that is something you're concerned about you're being very smart with your money is what i'm getting and moon i also see you being very discerning with relationships and people that you let close to you right because i'm seeing you being very guarded here emotionally again moon is also fourth house we actually have four 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 here that number may hold some significance to you 
But yeah, this is someone who's been reflecting, looking back at the past, what was Nine of Wands, our wounded warrior. And as a result, it's a bit closed off energy here. Sort of remaining in your comfort zone. I need, to, I want more clarity here on. But I also see with the Four of Pentacles mood, if your emotions have been all over the place, I see you being more in control of your emotions, if that makes sense, right? Queen of Swords, discernment, right? A strong intuition, being able to recognize red flags. I love this energy. There's clarity. Seven of Cups can sometimes be confusion when you're attracting so many opportunities. You know, what direction should I go? Who do I choose? What if it's love or what career path? So there's decisions that you'll have to make, but there's no wrong decision. So don't be afraid of making the wrong decision here is what is coming through. What is meant for you is meant for you, right? No one can take that away from you. But I definitely see emotional security. But 444, just stability within the home. Clarify the Seven of Cups here for what blessings are coming towards Libra. Your blessings seem to be more, um, you know, your public image, how you're perceived by others. I see you being very popular. I see your social life um, on point. But more day-to-day, -day, your emotions, I'm seeing more about that here. Libra. Death. Scorpio energy back-to-back. -back. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Perhaps you have options and there's one energy um, that has potential to move forward. And that is a Scorpio. Especially if you're already dealing with one, that's very significant. But yeah, look at that. Scorpio here again. And others of you... If you've been dealing, this is a very specific message, but it's coming through. If you've been dealing with a third party situation at work or just difficult situation at work in general, I see you uh, moving away from that. I see you being more focused on yourself and your personal development, peace of mind. You will be your focus, which is why we had the Leo come through. So if there is any third party situations, I see that situation isn't built on a solid foundation. And another interpretation I'm getting here is that there was an energy that was flighty, right? And you both can come together and work towards stability here because we have three people leaving in the boat, right? So a family, right? So if that is what you've been manifesting, it is coming. Love can be union with the past person, right? Wise chariot here. Blessings coming towards Libra. I'll just give you everything I'm getting here, Libra. So the messages may be all over the place, but I will tell you what I see. Why is Chariot here? Three of Pentacles. Yeah, two opposing forces coming together. Um, it can be as small as a coworker that you don't get along with, an authority figure, um, but you're both coming together, putting your heads together and working towards a common goal. This can be a family member. It can be a romantic relationship, right? What have you been trying to fix here? Whatever it is, someone you've had conflict with. I see communication coming in. And you both willing to work together. It's beautiful. Ooh. Some of you, Ace of Cups, Eight of Swords, yeah, self-love, self-love, it's coming through, yeah, you very, which is why we're seeing confidence, right? Some of you have been very insecure, very much stuck in your head, not seeing your worth, and that is a mindset here that you will be, you're seeing your worth here. Look at all the, you have suitors here, are you looking for a romantic partner? You have opportunities, but there's one energy that you're You'll have options, but the energy you're leaning towards, right? Because we, if we look at the three of wands, he's holding a wand here. He's chosen a direction. And what is that direction? Ace of wands. Here is that wand that he's holding in the three of wands. And it's leading you towards the emperor. Now, is this a romantic partner? Definitely can be. Because most of the houses that are coming through are lighthearted. It's casual. I'm not getting much about your work. Uh, Taurus is coming through, but... More so talking about um, assets, finances. I was seeing you saving 
money here, right? I think that is what that is referring to. And we have self-love come through. But with Leo and Gemini, more so getting you be dating, putting yourself out there, socializing, and there is this strong, stable energy headed your way, right? And if you're not looking for anything um, romantic, this is you stepping into your masculine energy and taking charge, having more energy. It's vitality to get things done. You're feeling very inspired and excited about life. So really, it depends, but... This is a romantic partner for some of you that you're attracting someone you'll have a very strong physical attraction with. Let's get some clarity. What blessings are coming towards Libra rest of 2022? Ooh, reconciliation. Yeah. Six of Cups. See, it can be a romantic partner, um, but it can be family, friends I was getting. Um, I was telling you, you're traveling back home to see family, friends that is coming through, but it can be a romantic connection. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Remember, it's up to you if you want to revisit your past. This is coming through as a blessing. So some of you, I mean, I was seeing discernment with Queen of Swords. So the ability to say no and establish stronger boundaries. So if you feel like in the past you kind of give in to your emotions, um, you're very much in control here emotionally, chariot emperor. So you will have that courage, that willpower to say no, right? To energies that you know intuitively aren't for your best, right? So that is a blessing within itself, the ability to say no. What blessings are coming towards Libra for the rest of 2022? Let's get you one more Libra. Yeah, self-care, self-love is all over this reading. Confidence. Look at that. Soaking in the bathtub, we have pampering. Make time to pamper yourself, rest and have a moment of stillness to relax and restore your body and mind. A lot of me time, which is, it's needed here. I see you achieving a lot in the material realm. So yeah, you will need some time to recharge your batteries because I see a lot of people around you. So make sure you have that healthy balance, right? Of me time and then socializing, which you will. Autumn will be very significant for you, is what is coming through. We have thoughts. Keep your thoughts positive. Move past your limiting beliefs and shift your energy to raise your vibration. So some of you, you're raising your vibration here by switching your minds, your, your mindset, right? That is what you're working on. More positive mindset. And that is bringing forth this fresh energy. You looking at a situation from a different lens is bringing forth... You know, oh, I have, it's almost some of you, what I was getting in the past, that you may have been very laser focused on one specific direction or person that you weren't seeing other opportunities around you, right? And you're sort of opening your eyes to new experiences, if that makes sense. What blessings are coming towards Libra for the rest of 2022? We'll end with this deck, Libra. We have law and order. I think this is talking about um, you being more disciplined in your day-to-day -day life, but you may be attracting someone. Ooh, look at that. Mature man and solid foundation emperor. Someone you can build a solid foundation with. Legal contract with law and order. Can be a boss and authority figure here as well. This can be job. Really depends, but a lot of you, this can be a strong partnership here. There may be some legalities to take care of. Legal issues will be resolved fairly. Make sure you take the high road and all you do, obey the traffic rules. Um, obey the traffic laws, sorry. Can't speak. This card is similar to justice, right? Law and order. And we have prosperity. So it's saying karma. If you do things right, um, you will be rewarded here. Don't cut corners, right? Saturn is coming through. So it's sort of doing things by the book, putting in effort, and then 
slowly but surely getting ahead. <laughs> that is what it's really, really just hard work here. And you are, you are very disciplined. We have prosperity is usually associated with wealth, but you can prosper in many ways. Great health, more time. I'm seeing more time. Uh, we have loving relationships, so I definitely see that. Um, health improvement, improving, that is coming through, especially if you suffer with anxiety or overthinking. I was seeing, right? You going within and really paying attention to your thoughts or you need to is what your advice is. I want one more. <sighs> what blessings are coming towards Libra? Change. That's all it wants to give us. I was also seeing silver lining wanting to come through. So there may be a situ situation that you're leaving behind, right? It's for your best. It's a blessing in disguise. You may not see that, but down the road a year from now, two years from now, you'll see. And you'll be very happy, right? So it's one of those situations, but expect change. That is what I'm seeing. And then also a romantic partnership that you can build with. May start off as something more physical though you know, physical, casual, but it's something you've been manifesting, you've been waiting on with the three of wands. And others of you, a creative project, but a lot of you, lighthearted energy, casual dating, and potential to meet someone that can play a significant role. I'm actually, I feel like this reading is a bit incomplete, so I, I think I want to pull out this love fortune teller for you and get a few cards here for you. They will call if you've been waiting on someone to call you. Um, they will call here is what is coming through Libra. Uh, they'll call you to ask you out on a date. That message is for someone. We have don't let love blind you. Um, that can be your past energy if you were very confused. See, seven of cups can be a la la land, right? Uh, where we're seeing someone with rose colored glasses. But that is what you're coming out of with the queen of swords. And you're very much in your element. We have expect to travel. So, I mean, it can be, I was seeing short distance travel, but we also have the world here. We have happy times ahead. That's so beautiful. So if you have a uh, trip planned here, something you're already aware of, they're saying happy times ahead. I think you'll be very happy um, with this vacation. Everything will go well. That is coming through. Yeah, we also have necessary separation, sudden change, not on the same page. Can be an energy that you're not seeing eye to eye, right? And we have surprise invitation. false promises and trust your intuition this has to do with a situation where you already know there's deception or there's flighty behavior so listen to your intuition don't go against yourself right because you'll end up where you started off right you're stuck in a cycle here it's almost karmic here with the world if someone's showing you who they are believe them Let's get one more. And we have mirroring you. Yeah, someone from your past wants you back. Well, we also have no second chances. So some of you are saying nope, no to the past. Expect to travel, happy times ahead can be this energy because three of wands sometimes can signify travel, movement. So um, one of you may have to travel to see the other if that is the case. And others of you is just generally traveling to see family, friends, whatever, for leisure, right? But I think that is what I have for you. I was meant to, I was me I was wanting to pull a card on this emperor energy. Can you please clarify the emperor with this oracle deck? What can you tell us about this energy, the emperor for Libras? Divine timing. So there's divine timing at play when it comes to this energy. 
We have third eye. Some of you have been, ooh, chakras. We have a uh, third eye. Some of you maybe can be a message to work on your third eye. We did have a message about meditation, spirituality. But some of you may already know a you have it, your gut instinct may be telling you, yeah, that your manifestation is coming. We have built a new, and look, travel again. And you have options. Was it you I was telling you? I, th I think I said this word for word. I've done too many readings today, Libra. But I was saying something about you may be focusing too much on one thing or person that you're failing to see there's other great options. Yeah, so if one door is closing, it's not working out, there's another door opening up for you. And this door may be at a distance. There's a strong desire to wander or travel and explore the world. It's time you do. Expect to travel soon. Yeah, we have word for word, expect to travel, expect to travel. And we have the world. We have build a new. Don't kill yourself trying to fix what is beyond repair. This is your chance to build something different. It's telling you to move in a different direction if something's not working out for you in terms of career or your love life. Manifesting. You're manifesting rapidly. Your dreams and goals are becoming a reality. Stay focused. I was talking about discipline throughout this reading. That was beautiful. That pretty much summed up this entire reading in a few words. <laughs> but yes, Libra, that is what I have for you. Take care of yourself and I will see you next week. Bye.